The first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to get up there and I just have to saturate the wallpaper. I want to get the surface wet. I got my spray bottle here and I'm, I'm going to try just putting water on here, you know, with the spray bottle. Okay, if you, don't, if you didn't have a spray bottle, you could use a sponge and sponge it. I'm just going to let that set, just like that, for a few minutes, okay? And while I'm waiting for that, I can do this next little section. I could probably do this whole room with just the spray bottle, you know? Depending how big your room is. Or you could take you could take a sponge. You know, this is a little small sponge, but you can just wet it on the surface. We're gonna let that sit. While we're working on one area, that's why I sprayed this over here. So this can be setting while I spray some more. And that's that's pretty much it. I just want to keep that wet. Okay, while that's going. I'm going to try the, the sponge, the mop. If I didn't have the spray bottle, I guess I could just use a mop. You know, just saturate the wall that way. Ooh, I got some of that green stuff on there. That's from the mop. This mop hasn't been used for a while. <laughs> got scouring pad on one side and green on the other. So I can just kind of wipe that on the wall like that. Anyone can do this. Okay? You don't have to spend a whole lot of money on it. Okay, you can just do one little section at a time, however much you feel comfortable with doing. Okay, I'm going to let that set just for a few minutes. We'll get up there and see how it's doing. I'm just going to spray a little bit more up here while it's setting. I can see that it's kind of loosening up the paper already. But while I'm waiting for that, man, the spray bottle works good. I used a sponge last time just along the edge right down in here. I'm just going to use that. And that's going to kind of loosen up the, the first bit while I'm waiting for this top. Okay. Okay, it's only been a few minutes, maybe five minutes or so, and there's a seam right here. There's another seam over to the left a little bit, but I'm just going to take my putty knife and try to get in there gently and see if this is ready to pull off. It feels a little tight. But the key is to try to do a, an entire section at the same time. Okay, from joint to joint. Let's get this back a little bit. Okay, and this particular wallpaper is only yay wide. Right here, here's another seam there. Okay, if I can get all the top loose, then I should be able to pull it all down in one go. If I have it wet enough. And it still feels a little stiff. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more water on here and let it set some more. Because once the paper starts tearing, I mean, you can still remove it, you know, spray some more water on there and get it saturated. I'm going to spray a little bit on the back side here now. Okay. I'm going to just let that set some more. While I'm letting that set, I'm going to spray some more on the preceding area so that that can just be working itself in. While once I work on this, this one's going to be ready to go next you know what i mean just always have a little plan going and work ahead of yourself 
All right. Okay. We'll let that set a little bit more. I'm just going to let that one set a little bit longer. And that's why I've got my putty knife. Just when I find an edge, I can, I can peel it back a little bit. Uh-oh. Somebody wants me. Man, this wallpaper is only like two feet wide. Okay, so I'm just going to gently do it. Don't, don't get in there like a bull in a china shop getting ready to just rip it on down until you start testing it out first and seeing if you feel it's been saturated enough. Now see, this is not coming off very well at the top. I know I need to put a little bit more water on there. And you know, it takes a few minutes. I've had the water on here about five minutes. I probably need to put it on and leave it on a little bit longer. And it will penetrate through here eventually and help you peel this right off. Okay? You just have to let it soak the right consistency. And you'll figure that out after, after 10 minutes or so on how long you need to leave it. Okay? But hey, once you... Once you're waiting, you can spray some more, and I've sprayed a little bit more over there and got that ready. Okay, and a few more minutes, and I think we'll be ready to go.